here's a few local currencies. We have the Brixton pound, the original, um, the original issue over there, um, in the far right. Uh, we also just have other examples of um, Berkshire's uh, the Itaca, which um, uh, is Greco, he's a sort of an economist on the sort of of currency, but he was involved with that. And so it's just an example. Oh, and the other one is the Lex. Um, so the local Lex like, scheme to sort of that's uh, where you sort of trade skills and you sort of get anchors or, or points. Um, and then you sort of, it sort of supposed to generate sort of a skill share type of economy. Um, so they've got their own currency as well, uh, which is an example of that. Um, so yeah, I'll just give you some examples. So how does this um, right, so essentially the idea of local currency is that <coughs> basically it's a system that you need to get the sort of buy-in from the whole community, whether it's uh, businesses, <coughs> and profits. And then we have the, the system here, which is it could be a, a sort of credit union or local like bank that issues the notes. Uh, there are, are other examples of people that might issue the notes. Uh, and then we obviously have the, the people in the local community, which are the supporters of it, and the sort of workers, people who want to, um, people who work in the local area, and local services. So the idea is, I guess, um, it's probably best to use a sort of example. I mean, there's one example of a script where a newspaper um, issued a, a local currency. And basically what they said is they, they put up the money um, for Sort of local local services, so you know, so people to sort of work on the magazine uh, to to sort of um, or, or to do work at the at the newspaper. Then you then these people would then go to businesses, sort of buy some, some uh, things like them, bread, milk, uh, just uh, um, goods goods from that. Then the the businesses would be able to use that currency to go back to the newspaper and buy advertising space. So it's always important that at the end of the system you can actually um, you can use the notes for some sort of good or service um, and they're, they're sort of redeemed as such. I mean the, the notes themselves might trade within this system but essentially at some point this must go back to something to um, Get, you, you can pay for something with it. Uh, another example is in Argentina when they had the, the uh, sort of financial crash. Uh, local local councils would actually um, issue issue notes into the system, and then basically they'd be traded between all these people. But they would, the businesses and and other people would then be able to use those notes to pay their taxes at the end of the year or whenever they need to. So again, it's this idea that one, one can issue notes, but they need to be redeemable for something at the end um, of the chain. And in between, they're traded between them, because it, it's kind of like getting coupons from a, a supermarket. One can, one can use them to trade between ourselves. This coupon is worth 50 pence. Therefore, um, I can, uh, I think if we can trade between each other as a value of 50 pence, but at the end of the day, you can take back to the supermarket and get 50 pence off the uh, tin cap. So, anyway, that's a, a general idea. I think so, I'm not going to more of the, the detail of, of local currency and how they work. Uh, I'll give reference to the book uh, called Money by Thomas H. Greco. Uh, which I, I would fully advise in sort of really, um, getting to grips with both money as, as, as an idea and also my local currencies. I want to do a quick funny experiment. Um, uh, can I get four people, four volunteers up um, onto, the, onto the stage here? <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> About half the audience. <laughs> uh, One, <laughs> okay. two. Can you just choose a physical group that you would Oh, you get food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, okay, so if everybody could exchange group to the, to the left, then. Okay. 
a story about him and his ATM machine and this sort of early prototype of the yeah. <laughs> power. Um, yeah, because we had an event um, at the old space, which was uh, to up on Tanner's Hill, it's all right, it's a um, but because we'd started you know, building a garden outside and um, growing uh, crops and getting into transition stuff, decided to do an event around the garden, around sort of doing things locally, and managed to get like little lobby ATM machine donated from a company, and they delivered it to us, which was great. And they kind of mocked it up and sort of programmed it. So on the screen that you can't see, it's a bit blurry. Sorry, I should have got it. On the screen, it kind of just said, DIY Deptford Local Currency Action Group of the People or something. And people could come in, put their card in the machine, and then get these Deptford pounds out. And you could ask for a 20 or a 50, I think it was. And it was, it was pretty, um, you know, it was fun. All the kids would come in and just take pretty much all the money, like some of the went out with about 20 grand or something. And, um, but the interesting thing was a lot of people uh, wouldn't, because you could put your own card in it, and just any old number, it was like not connected to the internet or anything, it was just like purely like a, um, a texting machine or something. Sort of but nobody would put their card in it. <laughs> um, I mean, a couple of great people did it, but I even felt quite weird about putting my card in, I was like, hey, what, what the hell am I doing? And it was interesting that kind of association with the ritual of trying to get money out of and you know, your car and your uh, possession, you know, your wealth or whatever, or lack of it. And, um, and then, yeah, so it was great, you know, everyone's all got the debt for pounds and everyone's all signed up and sort of getting involved uh, with potentially getting one in the future. Um, and then another experiment I did after doing it, because I had loads left and some receipts. Because I put it on eBay, um, saying, "Oh, yeah, this is a prototype to a local currency," and um, and then just to see, you know, if, it, if people would be interested in buying it. And then I managed to sell a couple for about, I think, in a total of six pound or something. But at one point, I kind of thought, "Oh God, well, this is like the equivalent of you printing your own money. You're just going kind of printing this stuff up, essentially, and then you could keep selling." And I kind of thought, "This isn't ethically correct." Kind of way looking at the, uh, look, I mean, uh, using the idea of the local currency, but that's one of the things that happens when you become collectible and people want to sort of buy them and take them out of circulation and spend quite a lot of money on them, which of course is against the whole thing. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was, it was a good way of getting people into it and uh, kind of like into interacting and, and, uh, and yeah, getting their head around you know, what happens when you put the car in. Thing comes out. And yeah, yeah, it was good.